okay, so how do I uh, how do I find these uh, values? So this is this is let me open up that book. Um, so this is question number this is question number three on page uh, thirty one of the Think Do book. They want us to find the mean, the median, the mode, the range, sample standard variance, sample standard deviation. So the purpose of this video is not to show you how to do this by hand, but somebody asked, how do I find, how do I use the formula for the standard deviation, but do it with a spreadsheet so that you don't have to use your calculator? So that's what I kind of want to show you here. So the first off, um, I, I'm going to find, I'm going to, well, a couple of things about a spreadsheet. I mean, if you want to have, have uh, a spreadsheet uh, calculate a formula, you first off have to, let me insert, let me do this. So I'm gonna have it calculate the mean. Actually, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna find the sum, I'm supposed to be doing this all by hand. I, I posted a link to another video I've made about how to use all the built-in formulas and so certainly use that. Um, some things you do wanna know how to do is, I want you to know how to use that standard deviation formula by hand. Uh, you get because that gives you a sense of where it all comes from. Um, you're going to get to do it very small data set, so it, it's not to worry. But uh, most of the time, I'll let you just use the tech and 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 come up with a standard deviation that way. So, but how did we do this all by by hand? Quote in quotes on a spreadsheet. So. I'm going to have the spreadsheet add up those six numbers for me. And the way you tell a spreadsheet to do a formula is you always start it with an equal sign. And then I'm going to write the word sum. And you see the way that popped up there as, a, uh, as an option. You can either click on that or once you put a parenthesis, a left parenthesis there, it'll, it'll, it'll say, oh, you're trying to find the sum of a set of numbers. And then you just click and select the cells that you want to have add up, find the sum of. And, and it'll do it, and you can close it, press enter. Um, one thing I want you, I'm, I don't know what your comfort level is with spreadsheets, but each cell is referenced by a column and by a row number. So you see how this um, negative 1.5 is, is actually B2, so it's column B, row two. And this, this, this formula is telling me, hey, I'm adding up all the cells from B2 all the way down to B7. And I'm going to close it, though you don't have to close it. So that's the sum of all those numbers. And to get the mean, we have to divide by how many numbers we have. So I'm going to do equals. I'm going to click on the negative 3.3 cell and divide that by, by six because there's six numbers. And yes, there's all kinds of shortcuts you can build, build in. I'm trying to make this be uh, fairly simple. So that's the mean of those six numbers. Now, to get the standard deviation, the formula says here, let me write that down on the screen, then we'll, then we'll lose it shortly. Or maybe we can find it in the Think Do book. That might be, but that way, it's, that way it's written out. Give me a minute here to find. I know he's got the formula. That's a weighted average. Uh, if you need some help with that, give a yell. Here, you know, that's a Z score. We're coming to it. We're coming to it. Uh, here we go. Sample variance, sample standard deviation. Um, we will rarely work with the uh, population variance, population standard deviation. They'll be given to us. We're going we're gonna to consider most of the work we're doing is samples, coming from samples. And as you can see from that, let me see. Can I zoom this in? Uh, let's see. I'm a little bit bigger. You might not be seeing that so well on the screen. We have to find the difference, find how far away each number is from the mean, square that difference, find the sum of all those square differences, and then divide by one less than the number of pieces of data that we have. So that's where we're at. And then to get the standard deviation, just take the square root of that number. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm gonna walk through here. So the first thing I have to do is um, find the difference, find the, how far away each number is from the mean. So I'm going to do up here, I'm going to write x minus x bar, x minus the sample mean. So I'm going to do equals. I'm going to click on the negative 1.5. And I could go minus and then click on that mean cell. However, when you what we're trying to do is be able to fill down. And if I just if I don't do something about locking in that cell, it's going to give me uh, it's going to give me some errors. And if you want to know why, let me know and I can show you. What I'm just going to do here. I'm going to do minus a negative 
0.5. And of course, if you remember your algebra, I could just write that as, a, as plus 1.5. 1.5, uh, but I'm going to let the I'm going to let the computer be do my thinking for me. So that's that difference. And then what's great about a spreadsheet, and this is why they are useful, um, if you go down, put your cursor down on the bottom right hand corner of that cell, you see that little uh, see that little little square, and see how my cursor goes to a plus sign. I can click and drag that down, and you see what that did is that filled down that formula. So I didn't have to type that in a gazillion times. Okay. So now the next part of that formula says once you find the differences, you have, you have to square those differences. So I'm going to come over here in this next column, and I'm going to get fancy and paste this for me as a human to know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to square that. And you see that carrot too? That's how you get a, a spreadsheet to square a number, multiply it by itself. So I'm going to click equals. Remember, I need to click equals to get the formula. I'm going to click on that cell I want squared, and then I'm going to do shift six, and then type a two. So that squared it. Notice it took the negative and made it positive. That's what happens. You multiply a negative number by itself, right? And we're going to do that fill down trick here. So then the formula says add up all those squared differences. So I'm just going to write the word here, sum. This is for me as a human again. And remember, uh, I'm going to do a formula. So I'm going to do equals. I'm going to type the word sum. Whoops, sum. And then I'm going to select those cells by clicking and dragging and enter. So that's the sum. So now the next number, it would be nice if I could spell, variance. And that's going to be this number, that 236 number, divided by one less than my value, number of values. And I've got, I've got six numbers, so I'm going to divide that by five. And that's the variance. And then to get the standard deviation, I'm going to take the square root of that number. So equals, and then you write SQRT for square root. Click on that 47 cell, press Enter. And that's my standard deviation. And so that's how you use a spreadsheet to calculate the, the, var the variance and the standard deviation by hand. Okay, I'll, I'll share this with you and I'll, and I'll include it in the description of this video. And hopefully that'll help you, help you uh, be able to do this, carry this out by hand.